In this video, I want to give you further details on the available analysis option of the generated results of the QTOWER IRIS. Here, I want to discuss the Delta Delta CT quantification analysis. The Delta Delta CT quantification is used to determine the effects of treatments such as pharmaceuticals, stress conditions and so forth on gene expression levels of a gene of interest compared to a non-treated patient. The results will be shown as normalized expression ratios of the gene of interest against a non-treated calibrator sample which is normalized to a housekeeping gene. As an example, I will open a project file from our demo data that is also available on the setup CD. In this demo data, we have a three-step protocol and we have one channel scan, the blue channel, with the diaphragm. For the analysis, a distinct sample layout is required. The reference gene is mostly a housekeeping gene that is steady in its expression, which means that it is not up or down regulated with any treatment. The expression of the gene of interest will be investigated and compared to the steady expression of the reference gene during the calculation. For each gene, an initial condition has to be defined for both genes. This will be the calibrator. So here we have the calibrators for both the GOI and the calibrator for the reference gene. The unknown samples represent the changed conditions and must also be defined for both genes. Here we have the unknown for the GOI and also the unknown for the reference gene. In the Delta Delta CT analysis, the PCR efficiency should ideally be equally between two true genes, but it is also possible to use standard curves for both genes if the PCR efficiency is not equal. Please note that the analysis can also be performed when using more than one reference gene and more than one gene of interest. When the data are obtained, you can switch to the monitoring view to see the curves. You can also already calculate the CT values. But now we want to have a look at the Delta Delta CT analysis. For this, you go to the tab Analysis. You choose the Delta Delta CT quantification and you add an analysis, either via this icon or the drop-down menu. You enter a name and press OK. Then we select a gene of interest and a reference gene and the threshold will be set automatically but you can also adjust the threshold manually by changing it in the threshold box or by dragging the threshold line up or down. In the table below a variety of data are shown, including the CT values, as well as the normalized expressions. By right-clicking onto the header, you can add or remove different analysis information. And by clicking onto the well, you can change the arrangement of the table from column-wise to clockwise and vice versa. The tabs below the graph, in this case the gene of interest thumb, the reference gene thumb, and the normalized expression as well as the relative quantity will show graphical representation of some of the analysis results. The results of the table can be exported to Excel via right click onto the table and choose between Excel file XLS or the CSV file. For a more detailed export of the results, you can create a print report. For this, you either click onto the icon or via the drop-down menu File and Print. On the left side, you choose the different information you want to have shown, and then you go to Show Report. And then the different information will be shown in the results. 
The print report can then directly be printed or saved for later investigations. And this brings me to the end of my tutorial on Delta Delta CT quantification.